Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to teach you about this thing right here, a triangle. So, if you want to draw just any random triangle you want and label each angle A, B, and C, and I'm going to show you some magic about these three angles in a triangle. All right, let's do it. So, we're going to take our triangle that you cut out, or if you just want to watch the magic unfold, uh, just watch. So we're going to take this triangle, and we have three angles, A, B, and C. And I'm going to rip off, oh, oh man, yeah, I'm performing some really messed up surgery on this triangle. So I'm ripping off angle A, and I'm ripping off angle B, and I am ripping off angle C. Okay, it's a triangle because it has three angles. It's not a triangle anymore because the three angles are gone. Okay, so here are the three angles. These are the ones that we really care about. And I'm going to take this protractor. Remember, protractor, look at how beat up my protractor is because we've been in some wars together. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take this protractor. Remember, protractor is just a half of a circle or a semicircle, and it's 180 degrees because it's half of a circle. Hey, spoiler alert. So. We're going to use this to measure some stuff. I'm going to take angle A and put it anywhere on my protractor. Uh, hopefully this is the right way to do it. And I'm going to take angle C and put it right here. And I'm going to take angle B and what? Like a perfect puzzle piece angle B fits perfectly on there so if we take a journey look at it here's the magic unfolding okay so look at angle A it goes from here all the way to angle B all the way to angle C or if we just took a shortcut from here it's here what do all three angles make they make 180 degrees so a plus b plus c the three angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees or the three angles are supplementary so look at that half of a circle three angles put together make a half of a circle or a semicircle or they make a straight line a straight angle so all three angles add up to be 180 degrees they're supplementary by this magic right here or this surgery that I performed so uh, let's write this down this is an important rule okay so this is called zoom back out so this is called a triangle sum theorem so uh, let's take our notes and let's find a pen and let's write what the triangle sum theorem is so this is super important so and let's move my face down here and let's move this here so the triangle sum theorem is that all or the sum so remember sum is a different word for addition uh, the sum of the interior that's an important word we'll talk about exterior angles on a different day but just remember the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is always 180 degrees so all three angles always add up to 180 degrees all three of the interior angles okay not two not one but all three add up to 180 degrees so take your highlighters highlight this super important um, fact about the three angles and it's called the triangle sum theorem so make sure you know that also so if someone asks hey what's that theorem about the three angles adding up to 180 triangle sum theorem triangle 
sum theorem. Okay, so let's do some examples on the triangle sum theorem. If you have a legit calculator, uh, which I don't have in front of me, so my addition may be a little messed up. Hopefully that you could catch that. So I'll just try to do it in my head. Uh, find the measure of the missing angle. All three of these are interior angles of a triangle. So how do we set that up? Well, we take question mark plus 85 plus 33. And they always add up to 180 degrees. So let's just do some quick algebra. 85 plus 33 is 118, if I am correct. Yep, 118 plus question mark equals 180. And we'll subtract 118. Let me just move this real quick. Whoa. Okay. And let's move this back. Okay. So, and we'll subtract 118 from both sides. And so question mark is 62 degrees. Hopefully I did my addition correct. Uh, but how do we check that? Well, I'm gonna take my calculator app on my phone, but I do suggest using a legit calculator. And so what we're gonna do, how do we check this? Well, let's plug it back in. 62 plus 85 plus 33 is 180 degrees so that's how we know we are correct so that is example number one all right example number two find x okay we have a triangle we have three angles and we all know that they are supplementary so let's add them up so 60 plus 75 plus x plus 57 is equal to 180 degrees and let's combine like terms 60 plus 75 plus 57 60 plus 75 plus 57 is 192 all right so we have 192 plus x is equal to 180 to get x by itself opposite of 192 is negative 192 and so x is equal to negative 12. And there is our final answer. And let's just check that really quick. Uh, 60 plus 75 plus 57 minus 12, because that's what we got for x, negative 12, is 180. Look at that. Two times in a row that were correct. Okay. Uh, example number three find the measure of angle A okay so this one find the actual measure of this angle and it's fine we're gonna do the exact same thing we've done in the previous problems we're gonna take all three angles 80 plus X plus 67 plus X plus 47 all add up the sum is 180 degrees and let's combine like terms so x plus x is 2x and i'm going to grab my calculator uh, 80 plus 67 plus 47 is 194 is equal to 180 We'll subtract 194 from both sides. And that would give us negative 14 and bring down that 2x. Last step, divide 2 on both sides. And x is equal to negative 7. Okay, but we're not done. Find the measure of angle A. So we're going to take our x equals negative 7. We're going to look at angle A. And we'll plug this back in to x, or we'll plug it in uh, into x. So negative 7 plus 47. 47 minus 7 is 40. So the measure of angle A is equal to 40 degrees. And there we go. 
But if you're taking a test and you want to make sure that you got this correct, I highly suggest because I like getting hundreds on my tests and I, I like to be sure that I, I got a hundred on it. Uh, plug this x equals negative seven into this one also. So if we plug it back in, negative seven plus 67 is 60 degrees. And why is that important? Well, let's add these three measures together. 60 plus 40 is 100, plus 80 is 180. We know all three angles add up to 180 degrees, so we know we're correct, and we're one step closer to getting that 100% on a test. And, and our knowledge is even better. So, math knowledge. All right, example number four. Look at this one. Okay, don't be overwhelmed by all these lines. We're going to use some previous knowledge here to figure out x. So um, let's look at what we've got here. We've got a triangle. And uh, we know that all three angles add up to 180. But what are we going to add? We don't even have the measures of all three angles. We have 85 plus unknown plus another unknown. Uh, so what do we do? And the question asks for x, which is an exterior angle. So this is an example of an exterior angle. Another exterior angle. And the triangle sum theorem is on interior angles. But that's fine, because we have previous knowledge to help us out. So if I took my trusty highlighter, you should always have a, a highlighter when you're in geometry to help you look at things a little better, make things a little uh, clearer for you. This 155 is supplementary to this angle right here because it makes a straight line. So let's figure out what this angle is. We could figure that out. If it's supplementary, we just take, take the 155 and subtract it from 180. 180 minus 155 is, what is that, 25? Yeah, 25. Well, let's just make sure. Okay, so bar is the other one, bar, yeah, and then, yeah. So, uh, two and five. 25 degrees. So, we're one step closer to figure out what X is. This X is out here. And we know this. But look at these two angles right here. What kind of angles are these two? Let's use our highlighter to highlight things. Look at that. It makes an X. It makes an X. It makes an X. So, and we can figure out this angle right here because what kind of angles are on opposite ends of an X? Yes, vertical angles. So, if this is 34X plus 2 and vertical angles are congruent, then this angle is 34X plus 2. And now we have all the information that we need for the interior angles of a triangle. So let's just combine them. Let's add them up. 25 plus 85 plus 34x plus 2. They all add up to 180 degrees. Hey, that wasn't that bad. So let's, uh, let's combine like terms. 25 plus 85 plus 2. Um, I'm going to use my calculator. Even though it's not legit, it doesn't have real buttons on there, but it's fine. 25 plus 85 plus 2 is 112. Plus 34x is equal to 180. We'll subtract the 112 from both sides. Let's bring everything down. 34x is equal to 68. How convenient that that's 68. We'll divide 34 on both sides. And 34 is half of 68. So x is equal to 2. It's 2. Look at that. So, yeah, a couple more steps, but we're just using stuff that we already know. So again, supplementary, vertical, just add them up, set it equal to 180 degrees. How do we know we're correct? Uh, we'll plug it back in really quickly. So if x is equal to 2, we'll plug it into here. 34 times 2 is 68, plus 2 over here is 70, plus 85, plus 25 
is 180 degrees. Look at that. Pretty good. Pretty exciting. All these steps, but we got the answer. So, yeah, math is exciting. And the last one. Okay. Do not get overwhelmed by all these lines and all these angles. Find the missing angle. All right. So, where's the missing angle? It's right here. Duh, we're done. We found it. No, we need to find the actual measure of this missing angle. So, let's do some stuff. Let's figure out some stuff. Uh, it's going to be a journey. So, hopefully, you guys enjoy this ride that we're going to go through together. Um, I'm going to... Well, let's see what we've got here. We've got this 39. We've got this right here. These two angles are vertical because they're on opposite ends of an X. So if this is 39, then this angle has to be 39 degrees. Let's see what else we've got. We've got another vertical angle right here because it's on the opposite ends of an X. So if this is 65, then this has to be 65 degrees. And then this angle right here, this 100, is supplementary to this angle right here because it makes a straight line. So here's that straight line. So if this is 100, this angle, to be supplementary, to be 180 degrees, this angle has to be 80 degrees. Yeah, you guys with me? If you need to pause and, and rewind, uh, that's fine. So do that. I'm uh, just checking on my dog. Okay, so um, now look at this. We have a triangle, and we know that all three angles add up to 180 degrees. So let's figure out what this angle is right here. I'll just call it X. So let's let's set it up. 80 plus 65 plus X adds up to 180 degrees. Let's combine these. 80 plus 65 is 145 plus X equal to 180. We'll subtract 145 from both sides. So X is equal to 35. Okay. That's important because look at this angle right here, this 35 with this 102. And then let's call this angle right here Y. Oh, look at that. It makes a semicircle, semicircle, or kind of looks like this protractor right here. And how many degrees is a protractor? 180 degrees. So we know that all three of these angles are also supplementary. So let's add them up. Let's figure out what Y is. So 35 plus 102 plus Y adds up to 180 degrees. 35 plus 102 is 137 plus Y is equal to 180. We'll subtract 137 from both sides. So Y is equal to 43 degrees. I think that's right. Yeah. 43 degrees. And then our final task in this journey that you've gone with me to this adventurous, exciting, thrilling, I have no other words, fantastical voyage that you've been with, that you've gone with me on. We know that this is a triangle. Oh, this, is, this isn't the last step. Oh, I thought we were close because we're trying to find this angle. But let's find this angle right here and then we'll be on our last step. Let's call this angle Z. So we know all three angles add up to 180 degrees. So let's write it right here. 39 plus 43 plus Z add up to 180 degrees. Look at all this paper I'm using. This is exciting. Okay, so uh, 39 plus 43 is 82 plus Z is equal to 180. Yep, 82. We'll subtract 82 from both sides. So Z is equal to 98 degrees. Okay, and then the finally the last step. This 98 and this question mark. I Hopefully you're not getting overwhelmed because we're right there. We're right there. 98 and this question mark 
are supplementary because they make a straight line. So let's just set that up over here in this corner. 98 plus question mark add up to 180 because they make that straight angle. We'll subtract 98 from both sides. And question mark is equal to 82 degrees. Oh my gosh, look at that. We did it, guys. We did it. I'm proud of you. I hope that's the correct answer. I'm pretty confident that's the correct answer. Um, otherwise, my mental math isn't correct and I should have used a calculator, but I'm pretty sure that's it. So it's 82 degrees. Have a great day. I'm so tired right now. That was a, that was a, that was a good one.